All right, guys, welcome back to Drive It Out. We are at the 2021 SEMA show here in Las Vegas, and I am super excited to bring some awesome reviews here, of some great cars at this show. But one that I am specifically really excited about is the 2022 Toyota GR86. And I want to do one that was a little special. This one is actually a pace car for the National Auto Sport Association. Really cool setup. I, I like what they did with the color scheme. And obviously you see the lights on top, you know this is a pace car, but let's talk a little bit about, uh, just remind you what the new GR86 is about a little bit. Remember, this is a new generation for the 86, and this is known as a driver's car. So if you don't know about the 86, it's ju not just a cute little coupe, this is a driver's car. This is a fantastic car to drive as far as the balance standpoint. And I tell you what, the new one is really, really good. As Now let's talk about the improvement over the first generation, you now have a 2.4 liter flat four with that 228 horsepower coming out of there. And they've dealt with that torque dip that a lot of people complained about with that first generation. And of course, you know, you're going to be able to get a manual transmission here. So there's so much about this car that is unique. Uh, when you think about cars in this day and age, you've got a manual transmission that already makes it rare for new cars today, right? But not only that, but this car in a manual transmission is actually faster than its automatic counterpart. That is also something that's become a little rare, but if you come around the side of this, let's, let's take a look. You get to see those awesome graphics for this pace car, but this car starts under 20, sorry, under $30,000, right? So you can get into a sports car, rear wheel drive, and you can have a lot of fun in this thing for not a lot of money. And guess what? You've even got back seats. If you're into, into that, you can fit people back there. I like this, this spoiler for the pace car. I love the big spoiler on the back of the Toyota 6. You've got to go with that. But I really just can't stress it how unique this car is uh, in, in the sports car space today because you know, you've got a lot of cars that had manual transmission rear wheel drive that don't anymore. Maybe they're automatic and all wheel drive, you know, or they've at least lost uh, the manual transmission. But the GR86, small, lightweight, sports car, manual transmission, front engine. It's got that flat four. Keep that center of gravity down. It's just a beautiful, beautiful formula. And I really wanted to showcase this pace car today that's here at the SEMA show because I just think it looks so cool. Let's get inside this thing. So again, when I open the door these days on a new car and I see a manual transmission there, I just get excited. So let's talk about how you fit in there. Now this is a driver's car. So they, they set this up to be about the driver. They think about the driver position, right? They think about where they put everything ergonomically and then how it's gonna feel. Your visibility out is fantastic, but you get down in here and you're in a low slung little sports car and it just feels like it fits you like a glove. It feels good. Now they've improved a lot since that first generation and one of the things they did with the interior is the textures are really nice even on this base interior trim level i got the cloth seats and everything the materials in here feel really nice but i have to say that they've kept like this this cool looking switch gear that's down here in the center of course you've got your your gear shifter here and you've got a, a track mode your buttons here and obviously your uh, traction control and all of that, but you have a manual handbrake still in this car. It's not a button. A lot of cars have switched to a button and you've got a manual handbrake. This is for the driver, this car is. So do not sleep on the Toyota 86 because you think, ah, these days it's an underpowered car compared to other things. This is a, a lot of sports car with not a lot of weight and you're gonna be able to get a lot done without a ton of power. And like I said, you gotta drive one and feel it to know. There's just, there's so much about this car that is going against the grain of really what the rest of the world is going to. There's a few new cars out there that offer this type of setup. And I really wanted to highlight this one. So the new Toyota GR86, it's fantastic. Get it, get it, get it, get it in a manual transmission, get it in a bright color and just have a blast. And if you ever have to, you know, you're worried about practicality, you can fit some people in the back if you want. And guess what? You can fold down those rear seats and you can fit four wheels and tires inside. If you've got a track set up that you want to take it to the track and swap the wheels out, you can fit that stuff back here. They've kept that. So anyway, I really like this GR86. We are at SEMA 2021 and they always bring their unique cars to this show. It's why I love this show so much. 
and I really wanted to show you guys this one because it's just one of my favorites at the show. I love the car in base form. This pace car is unique. But thank you so much for watching this review. You found us on YouTube. We're obviously on Instagram as well at Drive It Out, and you can find me on Instagram at Naturally Aspirated Adam. But stay tuned for some more great videos from SEMA 2021. I'm excited to show them to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.